Most of us are aware of what's happened in Nottingham recently and as yet reports are still coming in and there's lots of avenues which are constantly being looked into about the actual truth of what happened. But what can we take from what we know so far? Now, from what we understand is in the early hours of morning, um, after 4 a.m., um, literally um, a homeless guy, apparently, with mental health problems, went on a rampage with a knife and caused three deaths so far that we know of. And you have to ask yourself, could these deaths been, could have been avoided? Possibly, no one can really tell. But what it all boils down to is what we've been talking about on this channel for quite a while now, and that is situational awareness, okay? Now, apparently from what we've been hearing, um, this guy tried to get into a house um, through a window, an open window. Now, straight away, um, it's difficult because at the moment the weather is getting hotter and most of us um, sleep with our windows open, etc. Um, so very basically, what have we learned so far? Maybe secure your property, shut all windows and doors, okay? Yes, it's gonna be slightly more uncomfortable because of air and temperature, etc. But, you know, these people who are no longer with us, um, they had no idea that they was going to end up in this situation. Um, so yes, we, we can learn from, from these um, events which happened. And as preppers, we need to make sure that we are aware of the situation around us. Now, like I said, very basically, if that guy had his windows um, closed and locked and his door locked, the chances are he could still be alive right now. And also the guy with the van, um, it's literally, we've talked about this ages ago and we've mentioned it a few times, but what I might do is because of the severity of this incident and we can literally um, foresee future events just like this happening um, in the near future. It's already happened in France. There was a knife attack over there with in a children's playground, etc. So these are just the ones that are being reported. We don't really know um, what's happening in and around the UK and indeed um, around the world. You know, not everything is reported and some people unfortunately pass away and it doesn't get reported. So it does make sense to make sure that you are aware of your immediate surroundings, okay? We spoke about this on a video a long time ago um, in a bunker talk um, a few years back now. Now, personally, every time I leave or I enter my vehicle, I'm always aware of the surroundings, okay? Any um, potential threats um, that could happen, okay? Just make sure that you look around. Yes, we've spoke about this before, not that long ago, when you've seen it, I've seen it, we're, we're out and about in the, the towns or the titties or even in rural areas like where we are now. Some people love to look at their phones and some people have their headphones on and they're completely unaware of their surroundings. These people are literally walking targets in the 21st centuries. It absolutely is, okay? So it's basic common sense from how I see things, but unfortunately not everyone understands or adopts any sort of level of common sense. Now, obviously if you're approaching a vehicle, you always look around to make sure that no one is watching, no one is uh, rapidly approaching, etc. And it goes back to um, martial arts training, okay? If someone is near you or you have a feeling something bad's gonna happen, always make sure that you can see both hands. If one or both of their hands are concealed, if their feet positions are altered or they're altering, okay? All of these things need to be observed. Now, like I say, what I'm planning on doing is doing a series of situational awareness videos on my website. Um, because I have been contacted by a few people telling me about, oh my God, did you hear what happened in Nottingham? Did you hear what happened in France the other day, etc. And yes, there are certain things that we can do to protect ourselves. And like I said, it all boils down to common sense. Be aware of your immediate surroundings. Like I said, these people who are now, unfortunately, no longer with us, 
they probably didn't know what was going on. They weren't aware of what was around them. If they were, they would have had time to be able to think what to do to avoid a possible fatal situation. Now, like I said, this is news coming in and we don't know all of the facts yet. So it'd be interesting to know what you've heard or what indeed you've seen um, about this incident in the comment section below. I've currently got a friend who is actually on holiday and from the scene of his hotel window was the crime scene. So I'm getting reports from him as and when he is available I'm based on what is literally happening on the ground um, over there in Nottingham. So yes, basically the message of this video is heads on the swivel, always look around always make sure that you're aware of your situation and awareness of it okay like i said we have spoke in previous videos about using things especially in the city centers where there's lots of like high streets and windows have a little glance look at a shop window you can see reflections of all the way around you okay it's not a fear thing it's just being aware okay um, like i said to a friend of mine a long time ago paranoid people live longer that was the saying which I dreamt up and you don't have to be paranoid but just be aware okay so let me know what you think about um, what you know that has happened in Nottingham and let me know what you think would have helped these people um, to basically keep them alive all right and also one last thing if you are out there in weather like this, it's always good to have a day sack, no matter where you go. Always make sure that you've got water, somewhere you can charge your devices, basic EDC, everyday carry stuff. But one important thing which not many people talk about is having a good, solid first aid kit, okay? Moreover, in these situations, trauma care, okay? Read up on it, go on courses, learn about how to deal with casualties, especially if they are bleeding out, shock, all that sort of stuff, okay? They are things that you can find time to learn about. And you could literally save your life or someone else's life. Because I have a feeling that these events are going to be more common as we move forward. You guys take care. Thanks for watching and stay funky.